the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Lord for giving us another wonderful cold day. And in this Mass, I would like to welcome the students and faculty and guardians of St. Jude Catholic School near Malacanang. So welcome to the Manila Cathedral. And to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge that we are sinners and we need God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When David and Saul approached on David's return after slaying the Philistine, women came out from each of the cities of Israel to meet King Saul, singing and dancing with tambourines, joyful songs, and sistrums. The women played and sang, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. Saul was very angry and resentful of the song, for he thought, They give David ten thousands, but only thousands to me. All that remains for him is the kingship, and from that day on, Saul was jealous of David. Saul discussed his intention of killing David with his son Jonathan and with all his servants. But Saul's son Jonathan, who was very fond of David, told him, My father Saul is trying to kill you. Therefore, please be on your guard tomorrow morning, get out of sight, and remain in hiding. I, however, will go out and stand beside my father in the countryside where you are and will speak to him about you. If I learn anything, I will let you know. Jonathan then spoke well of David to his father's soul, saying to him, Let not your majesty sin against his servant David for he has committed no offense against you, but has helped you very much by his deeds. When he took his life in his hands and slew the Philistine, and the Lord brought about a great victory for all Israel through him, you were glad to see it. Why then should you become guilty of shedding innocent blood by killing David without cause. Saul heeded Jonathan's plea and swore, As the Lord lives, he shall not be killed. So Jonathan summoned David and repeated the whole conversation to him. Jonathan then brought David to Saul, and David served him 
as before. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In God I trust, I shall not fear. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Have mercy on me, O God, for men trample upon me. All the day they press their attack against me. My adversaries trample upon me all the day. Yes, many fight against me. In God I trust, I shall not fear. My wanderings you have counted. My tears are stored in your flask. Are they not recorded in your book? Then do my enemies turn back when I call upon you. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Now I know that God is with me. In God, in whose promise I glory. In God I trust without fear. What can flesh do against me? In God I trust, I shall not fear. I am bound, O God, by vows to you. You thank offerings I will fulfill. For you have rescued me from death, my feet too from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the fight of the living. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Twice in this gospel, it is mentioned, a large number of people followed Jesus. A large number of people from Galilee and Judea, from Jerusalem, Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. Jesus was popular. Perhaps you can have a, an image or an idea how much people were trying to get near to Jesus if you look back at the image of Quiapo Fiesta. Kayo, malapit kayo sa Quiapo. Siguro, kahit sa picture o sa TV o sa Facebook, nakita ninyo yung mga taong nagpupumilit na makarat, makalapit kay Jesus. Dikit-dikit halos ang mga mukha. Ganyan siguro ang nangyari. Maraming mga tao ang gustong makalapit kay Jesus. 
Ano kaya ang palagay ni Jesus dito? Well, walang sinabi ang Ibanghelyo. Natutuwa ba siya? Dahil marami ang gustong makalapit sa Kanya? O naiinis siya sapagkat marami ang gustong makalapit sa Kanya? Nagtatago ba siya? Umiiwas? We do not know. But one thing is sure. In spite of His popularity, Jesus was not afraid to make decisions that will make Him unpopular. In spite of His popularity, He was not, he was not afraid no, to continue saying what should be said, to continue doing what needs to be done. Lahat naman tayo gustong maging popular. Gusto nating maraming mga kaibigan, gusto nating marami tayong barkada, gusto natin yung pinagkakaguluhan ko minsan. Nobody wants to be unpopular, I guess. But at what price? Okay, kayong mga estudyante, hindi ba gusto nyo meron kayong mga kaibigan, barkada? Pero ano ang ginagawa nyo dahil lamang gusto nyong maging popular? Makisama. Yan. Pag nakakantsawa ng barkada, wala ka namang pakikisame. No? Natatakot tayong masabihang walang pakikisama. Sapagkat natatakot tayong iwan ng mga kaibigan. Pero ano ang ginagawa natin? Dahil ayaw nating iwan tayo ng ating mga kaibigan, dahil ayaw nating masabing, masabihang walang pakikisama, ginagawa natin kahit yung mga bagay na mali. Ginagawa natin kahit yung mga bagay na hindi gusto ng Diyos. My dear students, There's nothing wrong with being popular in the campus. But let us not forget, Jesus did not change His ways, did not behave differently, did not disobey God simply because He wanted to be popular. Kahit na iwan kayo ng inyong mga kaibigan, Wag lamang ninyong gawin ang mali, mas okay yon sa Diyos. O sa mga hindi masyadong bata dito, ha? Okay, that is also true. No? Kasi kung minsan, in our desire to be accepted, we behave differently. But not Jesus. He was popular, but he was not afraid to do things that will make him unpopular. Sana si Jesus ang maging modelo natin. Ginagawa ang tama, ginagawa ang mabuti, ginagawa ang gusto ng Diyos, kahit hindi siya maging sikat. Amen. Please stand. The Father sends His only Son to heal us. We are confident that He can heal the whole person, body and soul. So we pray to our Father through His Son, saying, Father, make us whole in your love. Father, make us whole in your life, that the Church, through its leaders, may take up with courage the burden of constant conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, us make us whole, whole in, in your, your love. love. 
that all who are struck with incurable disease may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us, us whole in your love. love, that we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us whole, whole in, in your love, love, that those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us whole, whole in, in your love, love, that the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us, us whole, whole in, in your love. In silence, let us pray for our own particular needs as well as for the intentions offered in this Mass. God of the living, help us to continue the work of Jesus to bless and to heal so that we can make his gospel truly good news to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray like Jesus. Our Father, who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please still. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.